Service is a service that sends a video, music, etc. over the internet. Do I have to say etc.? Etc. Yeah. Over the internet so that people can watch or listen to it immediately rather than having to download it. Mm -hmm. Or rather than having to watch or listen at a particular time when something is broadcast. Oh, I think so. Okay. Maybe it's right. Alright, okay, I think so. I think I'm getting more familiar with the chum streaming, so let's move on to the next question. So before starting the next question, I want to uh, mention the Mark Pransky, 2001, him, his education is journal. He claimed that there are two groups of generation, digital natives and digital immigrants. So in my case, as a mom, I'm uh, definitely digital immigrant, you know, and then, you know, I have to learn and I have to study how to adapt to those kind of you know, new technologies but you were born with your know, digital gadget in your hand so you don't have to learn you, you can just pick up things easily right you have to remember that i don't think i was born with smartphone uh -huh. in my hand uh, yeah. because you bought the smartphone earlier than i did remember uh -huh. oh yeah i remember i used to your i used to use your smartphone oh that's true yeah <laughs> because one of the reasons that i'm an early adopter and i really like uh, you know digital gadget but so that's why i use you know digital gadget many times more than other people but i still have to learn a lot of things about that but you don't have even though you don't have your smartphones your digital gadget you when you use that you just pick up everything quickly so that's the difference from you know the digital natives and digital immigrants i guess mm -hmm. yes so, so here's the second question so what's the difference between streaming and downloading? Uh, the difference... Differences? Mm -hmm. The differences if we have more than two. Uh, between streaming and service. Mm -hmm. Streaming and service? Streaming, service. streaming and service. And uh, streaming, streaming service and, 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 streaming and downloading. And downloading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can think about Netflix. Oh, yeah. I think the pe the reason people use Netflix is because there are countless visual materials, ah. uh, which is which is very helpful for people like uh, for people who cannot store all the all the files mm -hmm. in their device. Mm. Do you need a lot of space? Like uh, in case of me, uh -huh. I like watching movies. Uh -huh. I used to download a lot of movies, like uh, maybe not hundreds, mm -hmm. less than hundred, mm -hmm. but it was a lot, right? Oh, yeah. But these days, thanks to streaming service, without no, with internet connection, uh -huh. I can have access to any visual materials mm -hmm. that I want to watch on Netflix. Mm -hmm. You mean if you have internet connection, everything is available on the internet? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think it's about storage. Problem. Oh. I'm not an expert, uh -huh. but it's like uh, if I have uh, enough storage in my computer or in my cell phone, I wouldn't use Netflix wow. because I can, I would have access to my visual materials mm -hmm. anytime I want, right. like uh, without internet you know, connection. Mm -hmm. But I am uh, not that kind of person right now oh, okay. because my cell phone is just 100 gigabytes. Oh. So I that's why I mm. use Netflix a lot. Ah, so that's a lot easier. So using Netflix is a lot easier to watch, you know, video files, video materials rather. Video mm. files is the same as materials, right? Okay, all right, okay. I think it is still very difficult for me to understand the technical process of streaming, but um, 
I will figure it out soon. It's time to wrap it up. And next time we are going to talk about our couple of streaming services, okay? Right? So, okay, bye-bye everyone. Bye.